Working with Worksheet A worksheet is used for entering data and using simple formulas. In addition to these, MS Excel has many more features. Selecting and Deselecting Cells Excel provides us with multiple tasks within a cell or group of cells. There are different options for selecting cells. You can select the cells either by keyboard or by mouse. Selection of cells by mouse If you want to select cells by using mouse, click the mouse in the first cell of the range to be selected. Keep pressing the left mouse button and drag it to the required cell. Here, 9 rows and 7 columns have been selected. Selection of cells by keyboard To select a range of cells by using keyboard, move to the cell of the range to be selected with the help of arrow keys. Press and hold down Shift key and move the arrow keys as required until all the required cells are selected. Here also, 9 rows and 7 columns will be selected. Entering numbers as text. A combination of letters, numbers and special characters can be defined as text. If any data cannot be recognized as a number, date, time or formula, Excel considers it as text. A cell can contain up to 32,767 characters. To enter numbers as text, enter numbers in the respective cells. Select the cells using mouse and keyboard. Click on Number Format group of Home tab and select text from the drop-down list. The range of cells containing numbers will be converted into text and no calculations can now be performed on them. You will also observe that numeric data is right aligned in the cell whereas text data is left aligned in the cell. To convert numbers as text again to numbers, select the numbers and click on Number from Number Format group of Home tab. Now the numbers can be used for mathematical calculations. Date and Time MS Excel provides many functions to work with date and time. Enter date as you type normally from the keyboard. For example, type 08-06-2018 and press Enter. It will display 6 August 2018. So the date entered in the form of MMDDYYYY is automatically converted into date. Similarly, we can enter time. For example, if you enter 11 00 and press enter, you will get 11 am. Also, if you enter 23 00, it will take this as 11 pm. Excel provides some date functions for date operations. Some of the functions are Date will give date equivalent to the year, month and date given to the function. For example, if we type is equal to date and in brackets 2018,8,6, it will give 6 August 2018. Today will give today's date, that is, current date. Now, we'll insert today's date and current time in the worksheet. Time will give time equivalent to the hours, minutes and seconds given to the function. For example, is equal to time and in brackets 11, 34, 30 will give 11.34 am as time. Changing Contents You can change the contents of a cell by simply clicking on the cell and changing the content by retyping from the keyboard. You can also change or edit data of a cell by typing in the formula bar. When you change or edit the contents of a cell, Excel is in edit mode. 
When Excel is in the edit mode, the word edit appears on the lower left corner of the Excel window. To change the contents of the cell, double click the cell that contains the data that you want to change and type the new content. The cell contents are also displayed in the formula bar. Or select a cell that you want to edit. Click the formula bar and change the contents of the cell. Press the enter key and your content will change. Undo and redo. You can repeat many actions using undo and redo options in MS Excel. You can undo the last action performed by using undo command in worksheet. The undo and redo buttons are available in the quick access toolbar. Redo button becomes active whenever you use the undo command. To undo and redo the action, click the undo button on the quick access toolbar or use Ctrl Z shortcut key to undo your actions. Click the redo button on the quick access toolbar or use Ctrl Y shortcut key to redo your actions. Inserting columns and rows Suppose data is filled in Excel and then it was realized later that some part of data was skipped out. You can still add those values by creating spaces for inserting new values in the worksheet. Excel allows us to manipulate the rows and columns of a worksheet. This is available in Cells group on Home tab. In the Cells group, Click the Insert button. A menu of options opens. Clicking on Insert Cells option opens a dialog box where you have to choose where and how you want to move the cell. If you move only cells, you get a somewhat distorted table. If you select Insert Sheet Rows in Insert Options menu, a blank row is inserted above the current row. Current row is the row containing the selected cell. If you select Insert Sheet Columns, a blank column is inserted to the left of the current column. If you select Insert Sheet option, a blank sheet will be inserted to the left of the current sheet. Copying and moving. Copying. If you want to duplicate data in a spreadsheet, for example, if you want to award English marks also to Hindi, you have to duplicate the data. Now you have two options. Either you should retype all the marks or copy the data from English column to Hindi column. The first option is tedious and time-consuming. The second option is using copy-paste, which is simple. To copy and paste data to new cell, in the example sheet, go to cell C2 and select the cells up to C8. Now, click on copy icon in the clipboard group on home tab. The cell border changes to moving dotted border. Next, select the cell where you want the data to be copied, that is D2. Click on Paste icon in the Clipboard group on Home tab to copy the data. The data will be copied from D2 to D8. Once you paste the data, the copied cell remains highlighted. So you can continue pasting the data in as many cells you want. Moving. Sometimes you want to move the data from one place to another in a spreadsheet. For example, if you have wrongly entered marks of Hindi in the English column, you need to move the data to Hindi column. You have two options. Either you retype all the marks in the Hindi column and delete marks from English column or move the data from the English to Hindi column. The first option is tedious and time-consuming. So we can use the option of cut and paste. To cut and paste data to new cells, in the example sheet, go to cell C2 and select the cells up to C8. 
Now click on cut icon in the clipboard group on home tab. The cell border changes to moving dotted border. Select the cell where you want the data to be moved, that is D2. Click on paste icon in the clipboard group on home tab to copy the data. The data will be moved from C2 to C8 to D2 to D8 respectively. Once you paste the data, the original cells will lose data and it will not be possible to paste the data in other cells. Autofill series To generate sequences like 1, 2, 3 to 10, as in case of serial numbers, or like Monday, Tuesday and so on, for a timetable or January to December for a birthday list, it is cumbersome and time-consuming to do manually but easy with Excel. MS Excel has a feature called Fill Handle, which will help us in generating such sequences. Excel is intelligent enough to understand the sequence and the difference between two such sequences. For example, in case of 5, 10, 15 sequence of numbers, Excel will automatically understand the difference between numbers that is 5, and the next number, like 20, in the above sequence. Fill Handle is not only able to understand the numeric series or sequence of days or week or months, but can also understand the text sequences. Fill Handle is a small box at the right corner of the cell, which can be dragged to complete a series. Let us take an example to generate serial numbers automatically. Go to cell A2 and enter 1, then go to cell A3 and type 2. Now, select cells A2 and A3 and drag the fill handle to complete the serial numbers for other rows. You will observe that 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 are automatically generated by the fill handle. The highlighted icon here is the Autofill Options handle. Clicking it will give you options to customize your data series. Here are some more examples of Fill Handle. In case of text sequences or patterns, the text sequence is repeated when Fill Handle is used. 